Chicago police have released body cam footage showing the moment officers shot and killed a man on Saturday, July 14, in a bid to appeal for calm after the clip appears to show him reach for a gun in his waistband. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson said it's the quickest he has ever ordered the release of police video. In this case, it was done to dispel rumors that the 37-year-old Aretha Augustus was unarmed at the time. Protests broke out in Chicago in the wake of the shooting, with some demonstrations turning violent as rocks and bottles of urine were thrown at officers, reports the Chicago Sun-Times. Johnson said he released the slowed-down footage on Sunday as the community needs some answers and they need them now, reports Associated Press. We can't have another night like last night, Chicago police spokesman, Anthony Guglielmi, said the footage was released in the interest of transparency and to dispel inaccurate information, the body cam footage appears to show Augustus reaching for a weapon while attempting to flee after being approached by four officers on the 2000 block of East 71st Street. In a statement following the shooting, Chicago police said officers approached the 37-year-old as he was, exhibiting characteristics of an armed person. Following the shooting, Augustus was taken to Jackson Park Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. The killing sparked mass protests in a city which has had issues with police shootings in the past, including black teenager Laquan McDonald who was shot 16 times by officer Jason Van Dyke, who now faces murder charges. Augustus's death was the third officer involved shooting in the city's south side in the last two weeks. Protesters were heard chanting, murderers and, who do you serve? Who do you protect before the violence broke out, reports the Chicago Sun-Times. At least four people were arrested and several officers injured during the disorder, Guglielmi said. In a statement, the city's Civilian Office of Police Accountability, COPA, asked the public for patience while they investigate the incident, I understand and empathize with the community's concerns and want to assure the public that we are committed to conducting a fair, thorough, impartial and objective investigation, said COPA Chief Administrator Sidney Roberts, we need those with relevant information to contact our office to reach a conclusion based upon all the facts of the case, I am asking the community for patience and cooperation to give COPA the opportunity to do the job we are tasked to do to conduct our investigation and render a finding based exclusively upon the facts. The loss of life is always tragic no matter the circumstances and our condolences are with the family. Police confirmed that Augustus, who had a five-year-old daughter, was not a known gang member and did not have a recent arrest history. The officer involved in the shooting, who has not been identified, has been placed on administrative duties for 30 days by the department.